2023 election for the technological innovations and like i said earlier so i want to also insist or reiterate the fact that we need we truly need to know what happened with irev for the presidential election without really uh, going into what is already in the court once more we look forward to a very um uh, Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're doing a first time with this channel, make it offer you to hit on the red subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. And if you're doing a first time with this, this Facebook page, I pack everyone over and make it offer you to like and follow this page for more videos or updates to come your way. My people, welcome back again. I tell them I say how things they play. I'm out they go. I dare to bring a common and dust people and I see within the sub. Without wasting much of my time, I go and play a video for them. I want to see Malu Yakubu. Yes, Malu Yakubu. Don't answer to look up ob election observer in Nigeria. I won't play video for the moment I hear with this smart talk. I'm going to see question where this woman asked Malu Yakubu. Is even Malu Yakubu tell us what happened to the IRF machine for the presidential election? Why this now? Let that one get problem. I bet more than take my time and watch this Before then, this one on my Instagram handle. More than follow me more than 10,000 followers on this Instagram. As now do so, God bless you. Guys, make a quick play this video for now. Then we'll come put our own take on this issue. Please, share this video. As you do so, God bless you. Watch that with the comeback. To the general election. By way of introspection, stop taking, review, and evaluation. This is one of the best ways to continue to improve the electoral process. As I said on several occasions since we commenced the review meetings three weeks ago, the Commission welcomes diverse opinions about the election insofar as their purpose is to improve the future conduct of elections and to consolidate our democracy. Since the 2019 general election, we have worked together with the National Assembly civil society organizations and other stakeholders for the progressive improvement of the electoral process. We were meticulous in our preparations for the election and there have been many positive developments in this regard. One area is the repeal and reenactment of the Electoral Act 2010 into the Electoral Act 2022. The new law provides for a period of 180 days for political parties to conclude their primaries and submit the names of candidates for the 2023 general election. This enabled the Commission to commence the process of producing the sensitive materials for the election in good time. I'm glad to report that the printing of all sensitive and non-sensitive materials for the 2023 general election was entirely done in Nigeria. Not a single ballot paper or result sheet was printed outside the country. This is the first time in 44 years since the transition to democratic rule in 1979 that this great step was taken and achieved in spite of the record number 93.4 million registered voters and over 500 million ballot papers, result sheets and other documents for the five categories of the main election and supplementary polls. For this reason, the 2023 general election was held as scheduled for the first time in the last four electoral cycles without a postponement arising from the non-arrival of materials. Furthermore, we are able to expand voter access to polling units for the first time since the initial delimitation exercise in 1996. Similarly, we introduced many technology-based innovations, including the online pre-registration of voters, the fiscal registration using the INEC voter enrollment device, the IVED, the various portals for the nomination of candidates, party agents, and the accreditation of observers and the media. We also collected and published data on the distribution of voters, not only by age and occupation, but also by disability. Within the limits of available resources, we also tried to provide such inclusivity materials as braille jackets and magnifying glasses 
for some categories of voters with disabilities. Nevertheless, as we are aware, there are many challenges encountered before and during the elections. The severe cash and fall situations were compounded by the perennial insecurity nationwide. Their impact on our deployment plans, compounded by the behavior of some of our own officials in the field, made logistics management particularly challenging. The deployment of thugs by some political actors made election day administration difficult in a number of places. While voter accreditation using the bimodal voter accreditation system was very successful, the uploading of results to the INEC result viewing portal, the IREP, especially for the presidential election, encountered a glitch as explained in our statement on the 26th of February, 26th of February 2023. The Commission is aware that this matter is currently the subject of litigation and will reserve its comments for now. Nevertheless, the performance of the technology deployed for the election is part of the ongoing review of the 2023 general election. It will form an integral part of the comprehensive report that will serve as a basis for further engagement with stakeholders, focusing on specific actions necessary for the improvement of future elections and electoral activities in Nigeria. On this note, it is appropriate for the Commission to express its appreciation to civil society organizations and development partners for their enormous support to the Commission during the 2023 general election. This came in the form of technical advice, civic and voter education, organization of meetings and capacity building workshops, as well as the publication of documents. However, it is necessary to seize this opportunity to correct the impression in some sections of the public that the Commission received huge sums of money from development partners for the election. On the contrary, and for the avoidance of doubt, the Commission did not receive any direct funding or cash support from international development partners. Rather, their support was totally indirect through civil society organizations and implementing partners working on elections. Indeed, it has been a long-standing policy of the present commission not to receive direct funding and cash transfers from sources other than the federal government of Nigeria. We hope that we shall continue to have this type of productive partnership with civil society organizations and development partners in the future. It is in furtherance of this partnership that the Commission accredits observers because the feedback we receive and their actionable recommendations have been very helpful in the electoral process. For the 2023 general election, the Commission received 538 requests, 504 domestic and 34 foreign for accreditation as observers. After a thorough evaluation of the requests, only 228 groups, 109 domestic and 38 foreign, met the requirements for accreditation. However, so far, only 67 observer groups, 62 domestic and 5 foreign, have submitted their observation reports which represents just about 30% of the accredited groups for the election. We urge all observer groups that are yet to submit their reports to do so in earnest. In addition to the review of the last general election, the Commission would like to share with you at this meeting the plans for the upcoming by-elections and preparations for the off-cycle governorship elections in Bielsa Emo and Fogi states scheduled for Saturday, 11th November 2023. Once again, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to this meeting. When I hear from my Anek Malu Yakubu, when I hear wait till you talk, November election they come. Now, this lady asked Malu Yakubu, say, 
make you explain to us what happened for the presidential election. The beaver's machine no work. Why this now? Only that one no work. When I hear and say, give any explanation about the beaver's machine, what happened? This man not ready to talk. He's not ready to give any explanation because now be the problem will happen for that beaver's machine. It was the problem of that beaver's machine. Now him, himself, now the glitch of that machine. Because now human glitch, now he put to that machine. So that's why you see, say, enough the answer. The woman say, he need, they need to know. Because it's on a local election observer. Now they come, no. They call the ask them because election is coming November. Governorship election, they come. Now, they don't want to hear a story again that touches the act. That's why they come ask this man and say, okay, tell us. What it happen? As far as the matter they call, they don't see the matter they for court. But at least we need to know brief of the issue. The man not talk good, they not talk anything. So that's that's make a kind of come on a door. Say, na no say, Malu Yakubu. This man, he need to go jail. He need to go. They need to lock this man. They need to lock him. That's what we talk. So we don't need rerun of election. We need our mandate for his high court. That's how go hand this today. I see make a show that more see say, Malu Yakubu. This man. In other words, it in the play. It mess with the wrong citizens in this time. I will end this video here. Please help me to share this video as you do so. God bless you. I'm not gonna fit to follow me on Instagram. Please let's intend to follow us on this Instagram. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.